Motors is getting closer to delivering the first of its Lucid Air vehicles very soon. But how and where are these cars produced? We have seen the AMP and LPM1 plants. What is happening here? Why does Lucid have two plants? And what is going on with their plant in Saudi Arabia? This and more will be discussed in today's video, but before we dive in, make sure to stay updated by subscribing to our channel. It's free and reversible at any given time. If you hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications soon as we upload another Lucid video. Lucid has established two manufacturing plants in the United States. One is called the AMP-1, or Advanced Manufacturing Plant, while the other one is called the LPM, or Lucid Powertrain Manufacturing Plant. These two facilities are just a few miles away from each other and support one another in the production process. Today's video will explain what goes on at these plants and how the car manufacturing is divided between the two. After that, we'll take a dive into an update on the Saudi Arabia facility and the European expansion plans followed by closing the video with a production delay update. This video is divided into chapters as mentioned in the description, so please feel free to check them out and navigate through the video at your own pace. The AMP-1 The first dedicated EV manufacturing plant in the US which was built from the ground up with a single purpose in mind, that is, to manufacture electric vehicles. AMP-1 has been set up in Casa Grande, Arizona, and the production has been scheduled to begin in the second half of 2021. This plant is dedicated to three main purposes. These are body shell manufacturing, painting of the body shells, and general assembly of the vehicles. This plant separates these aspects from the powertrain production, just like many other legacy car makers are already doing. Legacy car makers have separate car assembly units where the engines are brought in to be fitted into the cars. These are often brought in from a different supplier of engines. Lucid is making the layout of its production pretty similar to this. Lucid has made good use of the strong incentives package provided to it and has also gotten excellent support from the government team as well. The EV maker plans to achieve greater capital efficiencies at AMP1 along with greater operational efficiencies and consistent product quality as well. Lucid manufactures the body of the air completely in-house. The body sides are attached to the rear underbody with the help of automated robots. There is no traditional fixturing station involved. All the work is done by robots at the facility for the fixturing process. Robots attach the sides of the body and make the monocoque complete. The whole process was shown in a video posted by Lucid on their official YouTube channel as well. It showed the next level technology that was involved in the factory. Next up is the painting process. Firstly, the body gets pre-treated and then it is given an e-coat. The pre-treating process involves removing all the oil that is present on the body of the vehicle. Once the oil has been taken off, the body is then put into the dip tanks. The first dip tanks contains zirconium in which the body is submerged. Up next comes the sealing process. It includes the closing of any holes in the vehicle. The process holes are plugged up so that the pre-treat can be done to the car. After this, the car is moved into an oven so that the seals can be cured completely. This is done so that none of the sealer particles are lost into the paint booth when the car gets the paint job done. The paint job is done in three phases. First off, the primer is applied to the car. Next up, the base coat is applied. It gives the car its designated color. Lastly, the clear coat is applied and its job is to secure the paint job from the harsh environment. Everything is kept perfectly in the paint application process. It includes the airflow, humidity, and temperature. All this results in a very perfectly done paint job. Once the body is painted, the work goes on to the general assembly. It is all a game of putting together different parts to make the car a whole finished product. First off is the marriage station. The battery pack from LPM1 is brought in and put together with the subframe into the main body shell. It is all done on a flexible AGV station that is movable. The next step is the fixing of the doors onto the main body of the car. After this, the car is sent to the tram station. It gives the finishing touches to the car. Air conditioning and wire harnesses are added to the car now. At this time, the interior of the car begins to achieve its final form. The LPM-1 
This plant will be responsible for manufacturing and delivering the battery packs, integrated drive units and the Wonderbox chargers to the AMP1 as fast as possible. This will be possible as the two facilities are just a few miles away from each other. Having a separate facility in the form of LPM1 will allow Lucid to expand it as an independent plant. The company will not have to depend on growth of LPM1 and on AMP1 to scale them both. Powertrain technology is one of the biggest differentiators for Lucid, hence the EV maker has decided to do it in-house. All of it, except the battery cell manufacturing, for now. Manufacturing of the battery packs will also include the integrated battery monitoring system and the battery modules that go along with it. The manufacturing of the integrated drive units will include electric motors, power inverters, transmissions, and differentials. Facility Site Lucid carefully chose the Arizona site for several reasons. The site gave it very good proximity to the Lucid headquarters and the existing automotive supply base. All the necessary utilities that were required for a better functioning facility were already in place. These include power, water, rail, and road infrastructure. The zone was very much suitable for the attainment of the air quality regulations. The geographic location of the site makes it very well positioned between Phoenix and Tucson. It also gives Lucid access to a very valuable local labor pool as well. Other enterprises have already seen the value of this location and set up their sites here as well. This includes Abbott, IBM, Intel, Nike, and NVIDIA. Cross-Border Expansion Lucid does not plan to keep its future ambitions limited to the United States. The EV maker has registered its European and Dutch branch. Both of these have been registered in the Netherlands. The reservation of the Lucid Air EV has already been going on in some of the European countries, including the Netherlands. Registration of the branches has been done under the Schiphol-based investment company named Zendra. Lucid has also made a commitment to step up an assembly plant in Saudi Arabia. It was done under undisclosed terms with Saudi Arabia. A financing of more than 1 billion US dollars was also accepted by the EV maker from the Saudi Public Investment Fund back in the year 2018. PIF stated on their Twitter in early September 2020 that they strongly believe in actively engaging the youth to develop their kingdom's sustainable future. Since 2019, they have internship partners with Lucid and are actively training their young Saudis. In the following months, PIF has posted multiple updates from students who went for an internship in California. The PIF is very open about their plans to develop their kingdom's automotive capabilities. Clearly, Lucid is a big part of their plans as they are looking to unlock new sectors and technologies. They see an opportunity in the automotive industry as they believe it is witnessing technological breakthroughs, including the production of new business models such as EVs. They also initiated a project to partner with a global lithium-ion battery cells producer and aim to localize manufacturing of battery cells within their kingdom. More on Lucid's in Saudi Arabia in a future video. Production Delays Lucid has already gone through a delay in the production process of the Lucid Air. It was due to two reasons. Firstly, due to the global pandemic which shook vehicle manufacturing all over the globe. Lucid was no different when it came to this. Most of the processes on the plants are automated and involve robots, but still a majority of the work is done by humans. Lucid believes that even with cutting-edge technology, there is a need for human involvement to make sure that vehicles are perfectly built. The second reason for the delay is that Lucid wanted to go through some internal refinements of the vehicle and the processes involved. The CEO of Lucid came forward and expressed his view on this matter and stated that Lucid will in no case deliver substandard products to its customers. This is something that Tesla did back in the start at the release of the Model S. However, Lucid will not do the same as the market has evolved to a great degree. The Model S got a lot of slack for being the first of its kind and all the fun factor that was involved in the car. However, the same will not be true for Lucid and delivering a substandard vehicle will mean very serious consequences for the company in the long run. Lucid is currently in the middle of the EV world's attention. It's not only bringing in a new class of luxury, but also planning to set the bar very high for all EV makers to come. The EV maker has divided its production facilities into two parts. One is the AMP and the other is the LPM. 
Lucid tends to follow legacy car makers who manufacture the powertrains, such as engines, at a different facility and then finish off the body at a different facility. Many may view this as adding a step to the process, but it is indeed a smart move as the two will be independent of the growth prospects. The purpose of LPM1 will be to produce the electric drivetrain and Lucid plans to also supply other EV makers with it. In the long run, when there is a higher demand for the drivetrain, Lucid will have no problem scaling up the LPM1 without having to bring up AMP1. Lucid is hopeful that it does not face any more production delays and gets to deliver the very first of its vehicles to the public. What are your thoughts on Lucid's production plants? Will they enter the Saudi Arabian luxury market soon, too? Will they implement a similar logistical plan as Tesla and have fulfillment centers in the Netherlands? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.